Hello and welcome back to the Concept Checkup. The point of Concept Checkup is to dive into the Warframe forums, look for a community-made Warframe concept, and talk about it. For the purpose of Concept Checkup, I will use my custom-built evaluating method known as, AS. Without further ado, let's begin the checkup. For today's checkup we have Talk, the Warframe of Time. Talk was created by LBH100 on the Warframe forums, and is mainly a supportive frame by manipulating time to tip the battlefield in his favor. Talk has low health, above average shields, average armor, an extremely high energy capacity, and a high sprint speed, which is the exact same as Loki's. Because a large portion of Talk's kit allows him to slow enemies, it's clear that with his high sprint speed and energy capacity, he's meant to be a mobile caster possibly a more supportive vault. Tox's first ability is Seize. Upon targeting an enemy, Tox slows that target extremely for a duration, and the target will take no damage. However, once the duration ends or when Tox deactivates the ability, the target will no longer be slowed, but all damage that it has taken during its slowed period will be applied and doubled. Because Seize can apply to multiple enemies at once, Cease can make a very good ability to use against enemies that are high level, such as over 100. Because of the double damage that enemies can take from Cease, if you give Taka high damage weapon such as a War or Dread, he should very easily be capable of surviving in late game. You can think of Cease as a more useful version of Limbo's Banish. Tok's second ability is Expedite. Tok briefly channels and creates an aura around himself. Any enemies in the aura that take melee damage or slowed, and increase tox movement and melee speed. Enemies that are meleeed in the aura will remain slowed as long as they remain in the aura. Expedite can make a highly useful ability for minor crowd control, especially if you give Tok a large range melee weapon such as an Orthos Prime or a War. However, because of his armor and health, he might be an easy target to kill at melee range particularly at high levels where his cease can fill in the gaps. Tok's third ability is Renig. Upon activation, Tok marks the targeted area. Upon activating Renig again, Tok immediately teleports himself to the targeted area, healing himself for a portion of his health and immediately regaining his shields. Any enemies in the targeted area will be knocked down when Tok teleports to it. It's important to note that Tok can use Renig from any range which can be handy for quick escapes. Tox teleporting ability might require tweaks, as the shield and health heal could be spammed for easy sustain in a mission. For this, I think that either the heals be reduced, or Renig made a limited usability. When I say this, I mean that Renig will remain an unlimited range power, but it should have a certain number of uses in a mission before becoming unusable. Tox's fourth ability is Tranquility. Tok targets an area and creates a bubble where time stops. All allies that enter the bubble will have their armor and shields reduced massively, and they will be slowed to a complete stop. Like with Cease, enemies in the bubble will take no damage until the bubble goes away. When that happens, affected enemies will immediately receive the delayed damage. Essentially speaking, Tranquility is a slow and debuff zone, with limited range. I can imagine it would be useful when placed in front of an enemy spawn, such as on void defense missions. I do feel that the shield and armor reductions are a bit extreme for Tok, as 80% would essentially allow his squad to cheese through a mission. I personally think that the reductions should be changed to 50%, but the numbers could easily be tweaked to some other amount. Tok's appearance reminds me of Teshin, and his kit has lots of applications when a teammate requires support. Due to that, I can't help but feel that Tok is one of those frame concepts that's great on paper, but might be odd to use in practice, much like Limbo. With that aside, here are Tok's scores. Tok's stats and abilities make him fairly balanced, aside from the infinite range teleport with heal as well as the large zone debuff. Those are the only two things that Tok needs to be addressed, in addition to his lack of a passive. Come to think of it. I wonder what Tox's passive would be. For my personal thoughts, I like Tox's appearance, design, and potential. His tranquility and Renig require tweaks, and he also very obviously needs a passive, but besides that, he seems great. 
I only hope that if talk is ever implemented to the game in some form someday, I hope that it's not a half-cooked mess. So that's talk's checkup. Tune in next time where I will perform a concept checkup on Migma. Thank you for watching.